द रिक्वेस्ट ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन सोनेट वन नॉट सिक्स बाई विलियम शेक्सपियर सोनेट आर फोर्टीन लाइन्स पोएम्स दैट एक्सप्लेन क्यूरियासिटी एंड ड्रामास्टिक फीलिंग There are two types of sonnets. One is Petrarchan and other is Shakespearean. Sonnet 106 is a Shakespearean type of sonnet, which is divided into three quadrants, means four four lines, and followed by a couplet, last two lines. Sonnet 106 explains the beauty of the youth when. in the chronicles of wasted time i see descriptions of the fairest whites chronicles means record of something timely or a past record whites means living creature or human being when in the chronicles of wasted time means it tells that in the record of past event i see descriptions of the fairest whites means i see the descriptions of human being in this sonnet whites means human being and beauty making beautiful old rhyme in praise of ladies dead and old lovely knights beauty making beautiful means a personification word that tells human quality to non human nature here the shakespeare tells that beauty of the old rhymes and the past poets have recorded the ladies and lovely lights so beautifully in in the blossom of sweet beauty's best of hand of foot of lip of eye of brow here shakespeare tells that the sweet beauties of the best means physical beauty of the past ladies or knights described by the past poets i see there antiquipen would have expressed even such a beauty as you must know here antiquipen means thoughts and words of past poets that are historical or ancient value here poet says that antiquipen would have expressed even such a beauty as you must know means he says that now and the present human beings nature or quality or beauty are described by the past poets more than a century before so all their praises are but prophecies of this our time all you prefiguring prophecies means prediction prefiguring means a specific instant in which something is foreseen in this two line shakespeare tells the the poet old poets have foreseen or prefigured the future human beings how they occur and their beauty are described in their past poets or past records and for they looked but with divining eyes they had not skill enough your word to sing here divining eyes means with imagination or eyes that see future in this two line the shakespeare tells that old poets have the imagination power to describe in their poems but they only describe the physical beauty of the lovely knights and lovely ladies they didn't explain the quality or beauty in their inner state or we which now behold this present days have eyes to wonder but lacks tongues to praise in the last two lines shakespeare conclude with a comparison that he made comparison with him and the past poets where he says that i am also a poet i see your beauty but i have eyes but i lack tongues to praise it means that he doesn't have the quality to describe the beauty 
of his own friend. It's all about the sonnet 106. I will give the summary of the sonnet 106 in the description. If you like the video, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.